I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, here we're looking at the Cube Computer Next Gen Deluxe. This is a rebuilt e machine system I um, did back in 2009 or 2010. It was actually 2009. Um, took an e machine case, used a Dremel to cut a big hole in the side, mounted this plexiglass in the side for a window, and actually engraved Next Gen Deluxe into the side of it and gave it a coat of um, metallic silver paint. This computer, um, it was my grandpa's computer from 2020 up through 2021 when he passed away. Um, it was still getting used on occasion by um, family members and things like that, but the reason why it's here is because apparently it didn't want to start up this morning and the thing is absolutely filthy, so I'm going to be cleaning it out for starters. And I'm going to probably be repurposing this machine for something else and sending a different computer back to replace this one. Anyways, I'm going to get this side panel off here. And that screw is really tight in there. The thing about this case is it's kind of a pain to get the second airplane in the past like two minutes. Um, yeah, this case, the dang screws are so tight in it. The thing is, the uh, side panels on are so tight because of the uh, window. Kind of the fiddle with the gear off, but there's a look inside of it. It's an Intel Core 2 Duo setup. Nothing real spectacular. I mean, my grandpa, he used this thing to browse the internet and play solitaire on. So it wasn't expect to be a super high-end machine by any means. Anyways, we've got to clean it out, and I've also got two power supplies here I need to clean out. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. That's not particularly good. Where that came from, I know what that came from actually. Third airplane since I've been out here. Because I live like 30 minutes away from CLT. Okay, let's let the compressor charge back up. This one's pretty much good to go, but I'm wondering where that piece of metal came from. 
I think I might know. Yep, right there, guys. So the retention bracket on this heat sink has failed. Completely snapped loose. And therefore, the, uh, yeah, that's, so that's what happened. I'm not sure if it broke all together or, or what happened, but, yeah, it actually broke, 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 slam off these, uh, Intel desktop boards. I've never really been a fan of them. So the Northridge heat sink has come loose. I don't know how long it's been like that, but uh, so yeah, we're going to pull that board out. Got a failed capacitor there. Actually, have got a failed Rubicon capacitor there. So what I'm going to probably end up doing is I'm going to probably be gutting this system, uh, taking out the motherboard at least putting something different in here not sure yet I might just gut the entire case and try to refurbish it you know give it a fresh coat of paint or something I don't know see two failed capacitors there's one right there Rubicons it must be a bad series of Rubicon caps on this board Anyways, we got these two power supplies we gotta clean out, so also we got this panel here we gotta clean too. So I'll go ahead and clean that out. So we're gonna clean off this side panel and also clean out those two power supplies sitting over there. This power supply needs to be recapped and it needs to be de-glued. It's got the uh, got the tan glue of death in it that's starting to go rogue. So I gotta deal with that one. And this one just needs degluing. All the caps and it look fine, at least from a initial inspection. There might be some in there. There might be at least one that probably needs to be replaced. Once I get the cat, once I get the cover off, I can see you inside the thing. So nothing new with these best tech supplies. Matter of fact, the HX 25012Z that's in this system here was recapped some time ago, and I don't think the power supply is the issue with this machine. I think there's something else going on. I'm not sure when that Northbridge heat sink broke loose like that, but uh, yeah, I just. I'm not really a fan of these Intel desktop boards because they use this stupid proprietary design heat sink. It's kind of an oddball shape, um, unlike like what you find on a lot of AMD motherboards. Now I can't say this, I can't say the modern Intel boards are this way, but this is because I mean this in here is pretty old. It's probably from late 2000s, 2006, 2008, roughly. It's a DDR2 based board, but. Uh, but yeah, there you have it, guys. So this computer, it safe to say, it fulfilled its duties. It uh, it gave my grandpa a nice machine to play his games on, 
Brown's Facebook going and yep it definitely did its job for sure and it was also pretty nice looking too so this was his 90th birthday present and he he passed away last year at the age of 91 no excuse me that was last year was 22 so he passed away in 2021 at the age of 91 so there you have it guys so that wraps up for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching well everybody that wraps up for this video and i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like the video leave a comment subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts also i recommend following q career company on facebook a link is in the video description in addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.